All right, good morning. So today is Sunday, May the 3rd. Uh, let's give you a quick video of my little backyard garden. It's not much, but it's all I got. <laughs> so first off, we've got um, this area here. So in here, I've got uh, some pepper plants growing, some um, cucumbers crawling up the trellis in there. Uh, well, you can see that because of the sun. My screen is kind of dark, so I can't see it myself. So uh, we've got lettuce growing down here along with some spinach. These, all the lettuce and spinach was grown from seed, just germinated, threw it into uh, the pots they're sitting in, just dumped a bunch of seeds in there just to see how they would grow. Um, it's all going to get transplanted, hopefully, to hydroponic um, if I have enough space. We've got broccoli growing here, which was store-bought from Bonnie's Plants at Home Depot. Um, some more in the back. The cucumbers are all from seed. The These peppers that are in here, these three plants, are Bonnie's Plants, and these were from Home Depot. Um, and I did this to get a head start um, because... I also have pepper plants and several other plants that I bought the seeds for. Now these here, all of these pepper plants, were from one night of fajitas. Um, I bought peppers from the grocery store and we saved all the seeds. There were two different brands. So we saved all of the seeds and kept them separate. And one brand grew, the other brand didn't. So this is what we're left with, 75 plants growing. <laughs> Uh, we thought, well, there's also some uh, lettuce and spinach growing in here as well. Uh, this is all in the shade of this big tree, big oak tree, and it gets some late afternoon sun, but not too, too much. Mostly sits in the shade, and that was done intentionally to keep all the growth slowed down because I want, so we'll harvest this first, and then this will come behind so we don't have everything growing at once. Um, <clears throat> this plant here is actually a German queen tomato plant. So my tomatoes, this one has never produced anything, any fruit or anything, but I now see that it is starting to get some little flowers growing. I forget where I saw them at. Anyways, this one's gonna produce fruit finally. So I'm looking forward to that. I've never tried this one yet. We'll see how that goes. Um, this one is an heirloom tomato plant. And it is delicious. This is these are all Bonnie. The tomato plants are all Bonnie plants from Home Depot. Um, right here, you can see the flowers, which will turn into the tomatoes growing. Uh, there's some more over here. This one produces quite a bit, actually. Um, what I did is they were starting to get a fungus on them. Um, well, actually, I'll show you the next, the, the other plant next, but this one got the least spray out of all of them. Um, so I just sprayed them with calcium nitrate. They were, the leaves were looking bad and everything. Uh, I pulled all the fruit off because I didn't know if it was going to make them sour, poisonous or whatever. Um, so I pulled all that off, got rid of them and now they're starting to come back and that's been about a week and a half. <laughs> um, but this plant is delicious. I have from one tomato last night was one that I had saved when I pulled them, uh, actually before I sprayed it, and it's given me about 50 seeds. So I'll have another 50 plants to you know for later on. So this is my hydroponic setup, and this is what I started. I've always wanted to do this just to try it out. Always looked cool to me. Um, turns out it's pretty easy. <laughs> So this plant is why I started to use the calcium nitrate and I think it's the wrong calcium. I haven't looked into it to verify that, to see which one I'm supposed to be using. I'm not sure if calcium nitrate is the right one. Anyways, this plant has always looked like this. It's had these rust spots all over the leaves. The leaves are curling. Um, just, it's just looked terrible the whole time. So this is what happened when I sprayed it with calcium nitrate. They all got limp started dying i mean this whole tree you can the whole plant you can see how this is just ragged it looks like charlie brown's christmas tree anyways since i switched over to hydroponic all this is new. this has only been a week so this is all new this plant has never looked like this all this is new 
You can see how nice and green healthy it is. All this is new. All that. Um, this is... I don't know if this is new or that's... I guess it is new. It looks new. Um, all the stuff down the bottom is all crappy looking. That's all the old stuff. And then around the other side, I don't know if you can see these or not, but there's a little tomato there. There's another little tiny one there. So it's actually getting fruiting. So here's all new growth. You can't really see it. It's kind of dark. It's got light in that. But a beautiful green color. This is the nicest this plant's ever looked. Um, here are the roots. If you can see that. Nice root growth on it that has been established. A little air stone down there that pumps oxygen down into the nutrient solution. So here's the lettuce. So this is the same lettuce that I took from one of the pots over there. Separated it out. This is all just an experiment to see how the hydroponic worked. They had tried it one time previously and it just did not, it did not turn out well. So um, this is after eight days. This is crazy. So this, that one, that one, and that are all from one of those pots over there. And I mean, this one right here, it, these are like two or three plants in each one of these. And they are pretty much the equivalent growth of one of those pots that has, I probably dumped at least 20, 30 seeds in each one of those things just to see what would happen with them and I mean it's going crazy so I'm gonna make more hydroponic buckets and do that but here are some individual ones um, these are all the same age so these are single plants that I put in here just to do those to see how they would work versus the multiple plants that I stuck in those and the reason I did the multiple there I didn't want to rip apart the roots and damage them so I've just figured I'd just throw them together so here is my cherry tomato determinant plant yeah, little tiny cherry tomatoes growing. It's doing great in hydroponic. Um, if I can't lighten it up for you. And then here's my basil. Now the basil was also always been a problem. Never would grow right. Always had problems with the leaves. Always had fungus. I had to spray it with hydrogen peroxide solution to, to kill the, the fungus. After a week, it's growing great. It's beautiful green and here we are. This one also had problems with the leaves. You can see on the edges, it was looking terrible. So what I did is I sprayed this as well with calcium uh, nitrate and it started having the same problem as the tomato plants that it was dying real quick. Uh, same thing, pulled it out of the dirt, rinsed off all the roots, sprayed off all the leaves, threw it into hydrogen, I mean into hydroponic buckets. It's growing great. Nice healthy roots. Everything is doing awesome in the hydroponics. Same thing here. I did the same thing to the peppers. Um, it's all recovered. You can see the pepper growing right there. There's a little tiny pepper plant right there. Um, some basil, some more basil. Um, these are pepper plants that I planted, or they transplanted last night. Um, so this little pot has about 20 plants in it. I just ripped them apart, took the roots out, rinsed them, threw them in the bucket. And there they go. In a week it looks like those roots would be growing crazy. Um, and this was one or two plants. I mean, this is all from the same pot as those over there. And this is just in a little coffee container, Folgers. Same thing, just growing like crazy. In the bottom, that's an air stone. That causes that makes bubbles so what will happen is I have a compressor over here if I turn it on it's an air compressor so it goes to this manifold this little on off valves and it goes to these little air lines and this will all be nicer I'm going to actually build a bigger um, hydroponic system later but there's all these airlines, and each one goes into a bucket. And then I'll go to one of these that is 
of the lakers. I don't know if you can see that on the side, how much the water is moving. causes all those air bubbles, which is oxygen. Plants don't, the roots don't get oxygen, your plant dies. So in Florida, I think it's, once it gets above 68 degrees, the oxygen in the water starts to go away, the dissolved oxygen. Um, so then the plants start to struggle. So you can get away with doing the cracky method with lettuce, uh, they'll do okay. They. They do all right if they're starved of oxygen. They don't grow as fast, but they'll still do fine. But the bigger plants, the tomatoes and all that, will die. So if you're planning on doing this, you definitely need to have an air pump. Mine's a big pump here. You don't need it that big. Um, but I'm gonna be making a much bigger system. That's why I have the bigger pump. So that's it, hope you enjoyed.